this is Pratik again and let's continue with the tutorial so this is the part 2 uh, video of uh, flight app uh, which I am mocking from Dribble till now we have completed uh, the top part okay and uh, for new visitors we are doing this uh, mock design we have used a custom shaped clipper for this curve we have used pop-up menu button for this location selector and a custom uh, radio type button of choice chips for this particular flights and hotels uh, toggle so let's continue with the bottom part today and the app bar this video will be a short one only con covering up uh, this bottom part and in the third video I will uh, try to complete this whole uh, second screen and the navigation back and forth so let's start with the bottom part for this uh, we will uh, take a row and this row will be in a column which will have one and two two children and let's uh, start so first of all uh, let me create a constant sorry so let's create a variable here or maybe at the bottom yeah so this will uh, let's take a column first uh, you can actually uh, ask a question here that uh, why we are using constant variable here and uh, why we have taken a uh, stateless widget in terms of top part so uh, why we have taken a stateful here because uh, we will be setting states for these we will be changing the state of the uh, uh, widgets here but uh, our bottom uh, view will be constant as of now once it gets uh, updated according to the custom values like uh, if you have uh, these uh, values coming from server or hitting by hitting a service so then you can actually again create a stateless uh, <coughs> widget in replace uh, by replacing this particular uh, column okay uh, we need not uh, we should not create functions to create the widgets okay let's go and uh, yeah so it is the constant value let's take it it will work okay let's remove as of now okay so first will be our row children and currently watched items okay so it's a text and style will be uh, similar to this boston style but uh, color will be black so we will uh, copy that style and duplicate it drop down menu item style it has uh, black okay so we will use this basically we will be using this style right so let's apply it then uh, take another text which will actually display this view all and it's in the color of uh, app primary color okay we will create new style for that let's first take the text view all and in brackets it's 12 this all data will come dynamic since we are creating a static layout so you won't be considering it uh, right now so let's create a text style oh okay um, sorry um, maybe let's call it view all style um, okay size will be 14 and uh, color will be app theme dot primary color so 
must be initialized as a constant value okay uh, it says that uh, i guess uh, we cannot use uh, constant yeah we cannot use a constant variable uh, a non constant variable inside a constant variable so we have to actually make it constant as well then we might we might get some errors so let's uh, skip this right now and let's carry on with the uh, var then uh, okay so this is done uh, let's see uh, how it is uh, running so as you can see uh, we have got this currently washed items and we all but they are actually uh, combined so let's give the size of it first of all size of the row which will be max so it will occupy complete from here to this space okay and uh, also um, let's take a sized box of width 10.0 or maybe 16 which is which we have taken in whole document so let's see okay still not uh, because uh, we have not given uh, the alignment so this will be something like space uh, between okay oh we have to i think yeah, we have to run it uh, by hot restart so it has come here but um okay space around okay i i understood why it is shifting uh, we actually uh, should give a spacer in between which actually implements it, it has actually uh, <coughs> expanded uh, widget so it expands in between text and this text so this occupies the space in between let's run it again yeah now you can see and also can you see that it is very much uh, joining the container so we must give a uh, little bit margin or padding sorry uh, so let's take it inside a container okay So alignment will different uh, definitely be hindered because of this. So let's this column is ending here, but it should not end here. It should end here. Yeah, now it is working fine. Uh, so um, what we can do, uh, we can give padding to this, and uh, we can also remove this sized box since we are using all already uh, using padding. So we can completely uh, use the padding thing. Actually, um, I, am, uh, I am thinking that when all the three city cards will come here, so there also the padding will be applied. So this padding is not a good option in this case. So uh, what we can do, um, we can only apply padding to this row. Okay, so let's revert everything. And uh, yeah, so this row can have a padding. And it already has 8 by default, so and we remove this. Okay, something to find. Okay, padding. Okay, okay, we have not removed this container. Okay, some more issue. So this column starts here then array then padding then the row then another array why it's not working okay let me start it again it should work okay so it is right and uh, now we can actually give uh, padding in a more correct way so horizontally uh, we would like to take at 16.0 and vertically uh, we would like to take as 30 or 16.0
so basically we could have used all here as you can see it has come a little bit bottom now let's add uh, this row uh, has is been completed now let's uh, try to add a city list so uh, what i am saying i will we will be adding this part okay so first of all let's create the first city card okay and add it into a list let's create a list so inside column here column we cannot create in that padding so column uh, not a column we are already inside a column so let's create a list view okay and uh, let's uh, wrap it in a or let's take it like this this view children some containers just uh, the placeholder type of uh, widgets with height of 210 and repeatedly two three times so that and when they how they can be scrolling like uh, scroll direction you can give so axis dot horizontal so this is the horizontally uh, scrolling list and uh, yeah I guess this will work and also we should give some width because there is no content in the cards so we should uh, give some width let's see how it is working okay there is definitely some error and i know what is the error so uh, basically uh, the, a fix for this error is the, uh, the actually the error is the following assertion was thrown so there was a unbounded height so whenever you are using a list view in a column i guess uh, you have to wrap it in a container okay uh, with some height and that height should be of 210 at least because uh, otherwise the cards inside the list will not be shown so let's uh, run this and now uh, okay so since there are the there are these containers i will inspect it and show you yeah first container and uh, so these are all our four containers maybe uh, this is the second third one and this is the fourth one so we have added four containers but they are not showing anything so let's leave it here uh, we will be replacing them by a widget a city card widget okay so here uh, is a very good <coughs> thing that uh, let's create a stateless widget of city card so this is a very important design of the app uh, right now so uh, I have created it uh, in a very good manner uh, you should understand how so let's uh, talk it about a little uh, this card can be built like the image will be there on top of that uh, there is a text okay and uh, so we can use a stack here let's use it uh, let's return a stack um, and uh, with this will have children okay now um, this will uh, directly have a image so we can directly give a container with child as image dot asset and uh, what name we should get so before that uh, let me uh, uh, tell you that I already have three images in this folder Athens Las Vegas and Sydney okay so these three images we will be using so I already have uh, a list of uh, city uh, created so let me uh, actually first uh, declare the variables here which will be actually the properties of the city card so they are like final string the image path okay name city name and uh, month year and the discount part okay and this uh, uh, the old price and the new price okay so old price and new price 
so this is how you can do it and uh, now you have to uh, this should be initialized so let's create a constructor with uh, all the mandatory value because they are uh, a sort of mandatory things in building the city card okay right and i guess this can be okay discount must be uh, okay uh, now let's create a list of city city card list this can be directly created like this so first one will be city card so um, values also I have uh, let me uh, just take it uh, which I have taken and let's um, add uh, three city cards in the list view instead of or 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 we can do like this since city card is a widget and it also requires a list of widget so we can directly pass in city cards and this will work okay what it is saying okay uh, okay okay sorry so uh, passing a list inside list is not required here directly uh, assigning a list of city cards to the children city card is a widget okay so let's uh, build this first of all uh, let's take a container of height uh, 210 and uh, width can be 160 so that it looks rectangle then you can add here image path right and you might be wondering uh, why i am using city card widget here and why i am using home screen bottom part here because the reason is very simple home screen bottom part uh, needs not uh, needs not to be um, um, uh, repeated once uh, uh, more than once but city card is a widget like uh, it has to be uh, rebuilt again and again and it has multiple occurrences in the screen but uh, this has only one occurrence okay so that's why we should uh, use widgets here so that we can uh, customize the widget values by passing them in the constructor here there is no need for that okay so okay uh, this is the image and uh, fit can be box fit dot cover so this is the container and uh, let's see how it is running so you can see there are uh, three images and this is scrolling as well but these images are rounded plus they have some padding in between so let's first um, put some uh, i guess padding and uh, yeah it will work but we need only horizontal padding because vertically we are fine so sorry symmetric horizontal and okay even yeah that's really fine so there is some padding which is looking nice in terms of uh, the image there is double padding and there is single padding okay and let's add a curve so like we have used a custom shape clipper this there is a already defined clipper so we can assign to each container or we can directly assign to the stack sorry so let's add a clip rounded rect r is for rounded this basically takes a child and border radius so here we can give border radius all radius dot so this will actually clip it around the corners of the rectangle right and let's see so uh, as you can see the corners are here but the corners are too much uh, uh, radius is given so let's take it to 10 and now it is looking fine now let's simply add uh, uh, now we need to add 
text here okay and a rounded button here so what how we can do it uh, basically um, uh, we can uh, actually uh, create a, a position widget okay which will uh, start from left side here like you can see in this it will start from left 10 points and from bottom it might take 10 okay so let's create a create that first left 10 and uh, bottom 10 so this is okay and uh, let's create a uh, how we will do it um, let me explain you so this will be a a row complete row which will have uh, two elements first will be first one will be this column and second one will be the text view okay so let's start with this so its child will be a row children and this will be a text which will actually have city name and uh, style can be like text style it will be bold white in color so weight font weight dot bold color can be white and size can be 18 and uh, after that uh, there is another text which is actually the month year text so we can directly take it here copy it so we can change the size to 14 and bold can be made to normal now as we have added this uh, row here uh, let's see uh, what happens so actually it is working like this but uh, this is wrong way uh, we need to put this in a column so let's uh, create a column and children and these two child these two children will move into here and there will be a text uh, which will show the discount so uh, we can do it like this uh, put it in double quotes dollar discount no discount and uh, so it will be like directly we can add the discount but if we want to add percentage then we must wrap it uh, inside double quotes and simply percentage so and then we can add dollar here so this will refer to the variable and let's see how it is working so can you see this now this uh, it is center aligned so what we can do in this column we can uh, uh, give <coughs> cross axis alignment as start and it has come inside. now don't worry about why this text is not visible I will make sure it is visible there is a little trick applied to this let me first create this widget okay and uh, now this discount text can you see here 45% yeah but uh, style has to be given to this so text style actually uh, the font size will be 14 and color will be black sorry but it will also have um, it is actually wrapped in a uh, container uh, which has a decoration so it's a rounded box box decoration shape will be box shape dot rectangle and radius will be uh, same like uh, I guess 10 will work so when you add these extra columns uh, commas it helps in uh, formatting the code 
so never miss out on a comma like this and you can see so can you see this 45 but it uh, okay it doesn't have a color so let's give a color let's see so it's uh, good and let's add some padding to it I believe the padding is um, not all it's horizontal it's 10 and vertical it can be 2 because it should be like a bar and it is too much let's reduce it to 6 one more thing there is no gap here so again uh, when we are writing it in uh, row we can uh, give size as max and stretch uh, and uh, put the main axis alignment as um, space between so it has it has not moved why because uh, we it's a position widget and it's not taking the width complete whole so we can uh, pr provide a, another parameter right so this column gets uh, this row gets stretched and now you can see very good card here but um, the trick will be here uh, why these text how any time the text will not be displayed uh, because image it depends completely on the image so how we can come over it as you know that it's a stack and this is a uh, back layer and this is forward layer so we need to add another layer in between right so let's add a container in between so that will be uh, basically another uh, uh, maybe uh, you can call it uh, positioned so I will add a widget which starts from left bottom and it has uh, some um, height very less height so let let me do it first uh, left will be 0 dot 0 bottom 0 dot 0 and uh, height will be around uh, 150 and uh, width can be uh, sorry uh, width will be uh, almost similar to what we have uh, which will be 160 what we have given to the this container and height uh, can be maybe 50 or 60 okay so and uh, let's uh, put a child here container and let's give a color color start so as you can see now let's run it and see it has come under black okay now uh, do you know about gradients no so uh, what we can do uh, we can add a decoration gradient and why we will use gradient we will use gradient because um, we don't like this black and it's it should merge with this with the image okay uh, smoothly so let's uh, take two colors uh, blackish and uh, transparent black okay so basically gradient takes uh, a list uh, actually a linear gradient we will take and colors will be a list so let's take first color as let me first explain you how this will work so let's take some bold colors red and uh, green and let's see so can you see this the orientation is from red to green like this but uh, we need uh, angle some angle or uh, okay so beginning will be from bottom center so beginning can be alignment dot so it will be from bottom center so it will begin from here and end here so red will start here green will end here like this it will work so alignment dot top center can you see now so now what we need to do we need to change the colors so at uh, bottom it will be darker and here it will be lighter so we can take black 12 can you see the difference 
it's a huge difference actually uh, if you want to merge it more uh, what you can do you can increase the height so it will uh, come on the image more and uh, image will look great okay also you can do one thing you can uh, take the black color and take the opacity whatever you want so you can uh, make it more opaque so color will merge very nicely right now you can see this white line uh, this blackish line right but not all on, on all the images will be shown so you can reduce it <coughs> so this is how you can achieve it and from seeing from far behind it doesn't um, matter a lot okay so it's looking good and we can actually uh, go forward in this now uh, we need to add two more text here <coughs> like uh, sorry like you can see here <coughs> so let's add um, wh what we are doing uh, this is a container and uh, it's a stack okay so it's a city card okay and i guess city card should have it it's a list okay uh, so inside padding we can add a column fine and this will be our first child and where it ends let's add a row or we can do a trick here or no let's take a row because uh, there are two different text styles applied to both of these so that's why we need to uh, distinguish it okay <clears throat> so first will be again text and it will be the new price and the style will be color black and bold so weight will be bold another one will be it will be normal it will be slightly grayish adding these two elements here how i have implemented is uh, like uh, i have added a row uh, then made the exercise as max and access alignment as a start so it is starts from here and it takes whole width then i have added a size box 5 because if i don't add then it uh, drags to left side which is the starting of the container okay so we have to add this and uh, for this uh, dollar icon dollar text we must say i have done is um, like uh, you have to use this package intl intl dot dart file in that and you have to add in the dependency intl basically it has a number format ex a number format uh, class in it so we can declare <coughs> like this so we can uh, declare format currency and uh, it can be number format dot simple currency so it basically defines how the formatting can be done and uh, then we can uh, whenever we pass the value from like 4 to 99 if we have passed it inside this format currency so we can call it like uh, add the dollar button dollar text then uh, execute this code and return the string so format currency dot format will take an integer value so if i change it to inr even this will work because this will return a string uh, actually uh, yeah so basically it might take symbols only so i don't know how to write uh, inr right now i don't have keyboard of that type so let's uh, stick with dollar and uh, yeah how it how uh, this is this looks like this and uh, there is a size box so that there is a small gap in uh, between these two texts and yeah we are done with the design but we are missing something we don't have the bottom bar so let's uh, take the bottom bar in, into consideration okay can actually create a new uh, dart file where we can or we can just create a stateless widget uh, which uh, will create this uh, layout and let's uh, start it so uh, where the main so let's create a new file 
custom app bar. This is very uh, common practice to create uh, a new uh, new widget itself for app bar. So let's import material and let's create a stateful custom app bar. So here, what you can do, uh, you can uh, simply uh, return a bottom navigation bar okay which actually uh, takes items as a list of uh, navigation bars so let's take bottom bar items here and uh, it can it needs to be of type fixed so fixed means uh, i will show you the difference in while after running it so that will be more clear for you let's create some items here so first of all let's define custom app bar constructor and yeah there will be a list outside which will contain bottom navigation bar items so we are creating bottom bar items and we are initializing them here right so let's create the first a bottom bar item which will basically take a icon and a title so these are the uh, two things that are mostly there in our ui so first one is explore so i think this is the icon and text will be and color can be black and uh, title will be text so text will be explore style also same as the icon so okay now how we can use it uh, we need to make this as final let's and this can be final as well or a constant okay what okay it cannot be final uh, but uh, what is the issue can define a constructor with non final field so okay 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 so what we will do we will define it like this and uh, we will add okay so basically we have created bottom bar items and we have added it in the constructor and uh, this will be returned when the uh, build method will be called and let's uh, integrate this in the scaffold which we have here so basically the scaffold is this uh, and app bar can take custom app bar and let's import it and run it sorry so it says some error what is this preferred size widget uh, let me have a look of oh, what is happening here so okay 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 so it's basically a bottom navigation bar that should be there because we have not created app bar we have created bottom okay and the length should be greater than equals to 2 so let's take the second item uh, let me take all the four items uh, four three more buttons so uh, and also created a style which actually defines a font and uh, text color so it looks like this uh, and uh, now you might be wondering how the how we can uh, add to color add color to it so uh, we can uh, do this uh, by either two things uh, first we can track which one is the current tab which is selected 
and we can change the color on basis of that or we can also give a active icon so this will uh, this is nothing but a replica of the icon and uh, uh, this will be the color will be uh, app theme dot primary since we don't have app theme so we can import our main dot dot so as you can see the color has changed but again there is an issue explore is not in orange color so it completely depends on the requirement what we have in our hand uh, so we can uh, change the color of both these things uh, at one go while taking a record of whichever uh, tab, tab bar is selected tab icon is selected so that's it uh, for the uh, for this screen uh, anything left guys um, i guess yeah i have i promised you to explain you one thing about how this fixed works so basically uh, and also can you see a uh, elevation here uh, I am not able to see uh, let me try and uh, add a material widget material widget with elevation of 10 so that we can see something yeah now we can see the elevation so let's add uh, make it 15 and now uh, you can see the elevation so click is not yet uh, implemented here so next thing is fixed so there are two types of uh, things it's uh, shifting so what happens to shifting is um, the selected one or the first one actually uh, the first icon uh, shifts uh, to the uh, takes more space and other icons doesn't also have the text assigned now can we also give current index so initially the current index is 0 but now it's 1 so let's see how it how it works so as, as now you can see that it's 1 it's 2 okay so this is how it works okay so that's it for the video guys uh, i hope you like the content and uh, next next video i will be coming with the second screen Oh, which is which was which is looking like this and we will try to use the custom shape clipper that we have already created in this screen so um, that's it from the video and uh, if you uh, like the content please hit the like button and uh, follow me on medium where i am writing articles on flutter also uh, you can uh, see my articles on techieblossom.com plus uh, you can subscribe the channel and uh, do write in the comments what next uh, you want to see from my side and uh, whatever topics you are uh, not able to understand please tell me and i will try to make sure that i explain them very well to you so this is the end of the video and uh, if you have subscribed to my channel please hit the bell button as well so that you are never uh, out of sync and you never miss the video whichever i am uploading thank you